John Steen, what do you think the nation enjoyed over the last year in the sporting world? <coughs> well, I guess we have someone with us who was at probably the most famous sporting event and probably the most famous sporting day of last year. Did oh, you get thanks. tickets? <laughs> was it amazing being part of Super Saturday? Yes, it was, it was pretty special. It, I mean, it goes down as Mo, Jess and that random ginger guy who turned up as well on the day. <laughs> <laughs> but your life would be different after tonight. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know what Nancy's got planned for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the ginger kid's getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> how far did you actually jump in the final? Uh, 8 metres 31. I genuinely don't know how far that is. If you paced out, how far would it be across? <sighs> well, if you do eight long paces, then like eight, a foot. Eight long paces? Yeah. All right. You've got to do it right, though, so it's right, well, you, well, hang on, eight, eight <laughs> long paces. All right, so one... Yeah. Two, three, uh, four, yeah. five... <laughs> off. No way, did you...? <laughs> you did eight. Um, well, you're probably being eight. a bit generous. Well, we've got a tape measure. Throw us a tape measure. Hang on, so I'll, I'll hold this. It's not long enough. <laughs> Eight metres. Exactly. All right, well, we'll do, we'll do eight metres and then we'll, right, we'll yeah. see. Okay, so I'll hold I've that. I've got something that's half a metre long. That's not me, no. I just, I carry around a ruler with me. Okay, so that's, that's eight metres and then you went a yeah. bit further. Like, so, yeah, about here, where I'm standing. <laughs> that is mental. Jess Ennis was at the peak of physical fitness in the heptathlon. Watching her, I couldn't help feeling ashamed of myself because I could see what I was doing reflected in the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Steen, what do you think the nation will be talking about this week? Oh, Oscars? Yes, the Oscars. Were you excited by them? Not particularly, no, no. no. Didn't... <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, though, I mean, you can't doubt the guy. What, a, what, a, what an actor. I mean, he's, you know, he's a proper thing, isn't he? Well, he should he's... have got assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> He's really me method. He, he should have got himself <laughs> shot. <laughs> I don't see why method actors are praised. People say oh, that's the best way of acting, but because he trained to be a butcher when he was playing a butcher. But that's the opposite of acting. That's just becoming a butcher. <laughs> I've been doing method for ten years now. I'm actually quite a bubbly chap. But yeah? <laughs> reveal now that I'm playing Jack in his upcoming biopic. <laughs> <laughs> Spent the last ten years getting into role, and I think yeah. I'm ready. Do you think? It's annoying because I auditioned for that. <laughs> What's incredible is your speeches, because actors act because they're tedious people. That's why they do it, because from when they were children, they've learnt that by being other people, they make more friends and are more popular. <laughs> so Have you thought about acting? I can act right now. I don't need to learn to... I'll do a butcher right now for you. I won't go away and train to be one. What do you want, darling? A little bit of beef? <laughs> The Pope sort of woke up on Monday and thought, oh, God, I've got to go to work. And, uh, <laughs> well, in fact, he doesn't have to be at work till Sunday. <laughs> Why do the Popes always start old? Well, they're talking about the Ghanaian Cardinal Peter Turkson being the, uh, the next Pope. That's oh. him with Chris Hume there. He's, uh, you can see Chris Hume's asking him to take a few points for him. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is, if we're going to have a black Pope, when are we going to have a black Queen? <laughs> no, no talk of a black queen, is keep, there? Keep an eye on Kate Middleton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's her. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <It's laughs> that well, I'm like, saying maybe she, maybe her baby is going to be black because it's probably not. <laughs> 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 The Queen's not elected, is it? <laughs> now, that's a serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's, that's what makes it weird, that people choose the Pope. Shouldn't it be someone who something magical has happened to? You know, like, you got Jesus, like, he was the guy, because, you know, you knew... <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know that he was chosen by God because he'd, he'd done, you know, he'd done <laughs> magic things. It should... Well, you know... So you think, what, Paul Daniels? Who are you? <laughs> Yes, the Pope has resigned. He's going to be difficult to replace. Where are we going to find another paedophile apologist who's also a Nazi? <laughs> okay. Can I just do a little disclaimer? Can we just make sure we don't put the bit about me talking about she might have a black baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared of the royal family. Are you genuinely scared of the royal family? Just, I'm just scared that they can kill you, they can organise. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
once a decade, they do one of their own. They don't, <laughs> they don't go outside the family. If Kate Middleton has a white baby, they'll just ignore you. If she has a black baby, they'll have their own problems to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there'll be a lot of The main worry is not if it's black, it's whether yeah. it's ginger. That's <laughs> the <main laughs> Most people admit to lying at least once a day. Is that true or false? It's true. I lie every day. I wake up and say good morning. <laughs> every single day. I lie all the time. I like lying. I love it. You lie now? Yeah. <laughs> By 9 pm, I've lied 900 times. <laughs> Women lie, especially. I don't mind about getting my... Uh, I'm on the pill. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lie about that? Three times. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy, I'll see if you lie, cos I've got a question I want to ask you. I've sure, go ahead. Something. I've go ahead. Something. Uh, have you had your teeth jazzed up? Uh, yeah, I've had my teeth jazzed up. I that was the exact it. term I used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want really that. white. It looked like you swallowed a torch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, they were looking kind of shitty, and I was getting, you know. Oh, like I, this? Yeah. Did you say that? No, they weren't, they weren't that bad. They were they bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> they, were like, they still look like teeth. I got the teeth of like a dead horse that found in the Thames <laughs> after about a month. <laughs> I like your teeth, but then I like what's it? Yeah. This <laughs> 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 made me think, oh. Yours are so bright. They're a bit. I mean, when you switch the lights out at night, do moths bump into them? <laughs> <laughs> this 15 Australian miners were sacked for doing the Harlem Shake. So we asked our studio audience, is it important to have fun at work? Yes or no? Yeah. No, not asking you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the to... Answer. The question's for them. Yeah. <laughs> not really? Yeah. Have, we, have you never seen this f***ing <laughs> show? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> I'm going to go with yes, Jimmy. It's... Um... <laughs> Good and well to laugh and all that. I mean, we're Germans, we like a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we do. It, it's just we laugh once the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's important to have fun at work. <laughs> Dick, I'm not a <laughs> of the first few Harlem shuffles, I was like, this is funny. You know, like there was Wacky Tacky Tie Day, then that had its day, and now it's Harlem Shuffle Day. I just worry about the trend this is going in. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, we call it Gang Bang Thursdays. <laughs> I mean, I can see why John and Henning don't like it, because obviously you are to fun what grit is to snow. <laughs> <laughs> And the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your question. Best way to relax after a hard day's work. Nancy, how do you relax of an evening after a hard day's work? Well, I will have a hot bath with um, a drink and then have a very deep tissue massage. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> who's, the, who's the masseuse? Who's... Well, I don't have to tell on TV, but uh, I have a few. <laughs> Oh, that kind of massage, I see. No. What sort of tissues do you use? Uh, deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. Deep tissues. Deep tissues. 